trouble. I'm 11 years old and I have two vending machines. We go to our vending machines, we stock them up and see what needs to be replaced and what's a good seller or not. Also, we collect the money and most of it here is from credit cards, so we have to go on a website to see how much money we've made. My favorites to put in the machine are either Famous Namus or Pop-Tarts. I was selling stuff in fifth grade. I was selling slime. My teacher said I shouldn't be selling it because it was a distraction because people kept taking it out. So then I had the idea to sell candy since we had a lot of candy at home because my mom would buy candy so we had it. So I started selling it at before class, during breaks, and after class. And the same teacher um, said that I shouldn't sell it so I didn't I hired people <laughs> I stopped after a few weeks because I didn't want to get in trouble I think people are kind of supporting me because I'm a young entrepreneur and like you don't really see many kids in the vending machine business so I think that's why people like would help me and try to support me so one is here at Gig East and another one is in a medics facility like in Milton well, some advice that I would give is that if you're going to be selling stuff, look at stores, like go to stores around you and see what their prices are, because if you make the price higher, then other people can just go to that store and buy that same item. So my name is Kevin Casillas, I'm Treble's father. Uh, when it relates to the vending machine part, it's, it's very interesting. She picked that up pretty early on her own, uh, started selling our stuff <laughs> in school getting in trouble selling things in school so uh, I uh, thought it was very entrepreneurial of her uh, we decided to see if we can get an outlet out and just by chance there was a vending machine uh, for sale on Craigslist that I know places and I passed it by her I didn't think she was gonna say yeah but she thought about it it was like yeah let's try it it's like okay but it's just for real you're gonna have to do all the work and uh, she agreed to it so that's how it started uh, but it's been a learning experience, so she now she's exposed to a little bit of marketing and research and pricing and uh, profit and losses, and I'm pushing her in that direction. But she seems to enjoy it, seems to be understanding it, and a simplified version of it, so that's good.